Good morning. Oh, I think I gotta turn that on. There we go. Hey, now you can see me a little bit better. Good morning. Uh, we're live on YouTube. We're live on TikTok for a very special edition of Morning Announcements. Uh, this is gonna be a shorter Morning Announcements than we're used to because I've got a very special guest. I know that you have asked for more animal content, so I have brought you an animal. I'm gonna teach you all about my friend Fluffy here. All right, let's check this out. Ooh, this is Fluffy. Fluffy is a golden knee tarantula. Now, golden knee tarantulas, here, let me get you a little bit better of a view on uh, YouTube there. Now, obviously, golden knee tarantulas are called golden knee tarantulas because they have golden knees. How crazy is that? Um, they are very cute, but the coolest thing about tarantulas is, is their hair. I mean, they're cute, they're fluffy, they're basically like gerbils with extra legs. They're bonus gerbils. You get extra uh, extra legs with your gerbil on this guy. Uh, but their hair is way cooler than ours. Their hair, they can use as a weapon. Our hair is just sort of boring. It just sort of sits on top of our head, right? Their hair acts as an irritant. So if their hair gets on your skin, it can make it really, really itchy. If their hair gets on top of your, uh, into your eyes rather, it can cause temporary or even permanent blindness. If their hair gets into your nose, it's gonna make you all sneezy, achoo! Or if the hair gets into your mouth, it can make your tongue all big, fat, and swollen. And it's kind of hard to eat a spider with a big, fat, swollen tongue, isn't it? <laughs> Can't really do it if your tongue keeps getting in the way. Oh, good morning, uh, uh, McKenna. Good morning, how are you, dear? McKenna's on the TikTok. I see uh, Marissa, I see Shelby over on the YouTube. Zyzor, good morning, good morning. Uh, so yeah, and it is real life. I know we haven't done morning announcements for a while, but uh, you guys have talked about more animal content, so I'm offering you more animal content. Good morning. <laughs> So, like I said, covered in beautiful hairs. Uh, these guys get really, really big. Not nearly as big as the biggest one, the Goliath Bird Eater. Let's see if she wants to give me some of her silks. Oh, check that out. So these are her silks. Um, I don't know if you can see them that well on YouTube, but you can see them really well on TikTok. So her silks, she puts silks out just like the house spiders that you see in your house. The only thing is though, her silks are way different because she doesn't use them to catch her prey. You know, your house spiders will lay a web up in a corner. They'll wait for bugs to come in and then they catch them. They turn them into like a bug soup uh, with their big old fangs and their venom called like a, uh, they're called sanguinivores. Sanguinivores are anything that eat the insides of animals or, or like the in internal parts. So like mosquitoes are sanguinivores. Some bats are sanguinivores. This guy's a sanguinivore. So uh, he likes, just like the spiders in your house, he'll stick his fangs in there, put the venom down in there, turn the inside to like a, a bug soup and then slurp it up through a straw. Um, but she doesn't use hers to catch her prey. She uses hers more like a doorbell. So she digs a burrow, which is basically just a fancy word for a hole in, in the ground. She'll dig a burrow, she spins her silks down into the burrow, and then she'll spin some silk out in front of the burrow, and she waits for a little cricket to come by. So you got a happy little cricket coming by, doo to do. He steps on top of the web, and she can feel that down in her burrow. So she climbs to the top, and she can feel the little cricket, and now she can see the little cricket, and just when she gets to the top, guess what happens? Boom! and she gobbles them up really fast. She's known as an ambush predator. She sits and she waits for her food to come to her, just like me all through the pandemic, ordering DoorDash every four minutes. You gotta just sit and wait for that food to come to you, girl. <laughs> so these, uh, the females almost never leave their burrow. I know a lot of people don't like uh, seeing them in these Tupperware bowls. Uh, that's how we transport the spiders around. And a lot of people don't like that, but the reality is that most spiders will live in teeny tiny places. They dig a hole and they don't like to leave because obviously everyone wants to gobble them up. So the, uh, the less time they spend out in the wild, out in the open, the safer they are. The females almost never ever leave their burrows. So they get really big and they can live a long time, like up to 20 years some, in some species. But that being said, the males don't live as long, they don't get as big, because they have to leave their burrow a little more often. And the reason they're leaving their burrows a little more often is to find girlfriends. So uh, Fluffy here, she's wearing a very pretty spider perfume that only other spiders can smell. So when uh, a boy spider is looking for a, a pretty girl spider that he wants to make his girlfriend, he'll start crawling around and sniffing. 
And when he finds a girl that he likes, he walks up to her burrow, but he doesn't walk right up to her burrow. Because if he walked right up to her burrow, she would think he's a happy little cricket, come up and eat him. So instead, he does like the goofiest thing ever. He does a stupid little spider dance with all of his stupid little spider legs. And she goes up, she watches him tap dance. And if she likes his dance, she's like, all right, cool, I'll be your girlfriend. And then they go downstairs and they watch Netflix. But if she does not like his dance, she gobbles him up. <laughs> so uh, spiders, they, uh, they take dating even more seriously than human beings do. I don't know the last time I went on a Tinder date, told them I couldn't dance and then I got eaten. So uh, I guess I've got that going for me at the very least. <laughs> Uh, so here's the thing. I started working again. I used to work for him, and I'm back. At, I'm back over there again for the summer temporarily, um, doing shows for Scales and Tails Utah. We have all sorts of cool critters, like the spiders. We got big snakes. We got big old um, tortoises, turtles, alligators, crocodiles, and I am. I have an awesome job where I get to pick up these critters, and I get to take them to schools and birthday parties, and I get to teach people all about them. And if you know anything about me, you know I am obsessed with critters. So it is like super fun. It's one of my dream jobs. I love doing it. Uh, the company is called Scales and Tails Utah. So they do reptiles and bugs and they also have a bird show. Um, yeah, call them. If you've been looking to do something cool for like a family reunion, block party, birthday party, anything like that, give Scales and Tails a call. You might even get me showing up to do your party for you. That would be super rad. But that's what I, I've been up to. So I know we haven't done morning announcements in a while. I know this is a, a kind of cheating. We're calling it Wild Wednesday uh, instead of doing a full morning announcement. But I'm still working out my schedule over there. I'm still trying to figure everything out. I'm sorry it's taking so long. It's very complicated. Um, now, a lot of people are afraid of spiders. But spiders are incredibly important. Uh, every home has a few different species of spider, like 10 I think is the average home, has 10 different species of spider living inside of it. But those spiders provide a very important service. They're gonna eat all the bugs that you really don't want in your house, the really gross ones that are gonna get into your food or make you sick and stuff. So they, they do a great job and mostly they just want to, uh, you to leave them alone. They want to be left alone in a corner somewhere. So if you see a spider in your house, just leave them alone. People are afraid of tarantulas, thinking that they're gonna get bit, and they do, it'll be easier to see on TikTok, sorry about it, I don't know what to tell you on YouTube, but right here, you can kinda see her little twofers, let me move those out of the way. So you can kinda see her chelicerae, uh, is what they're called. They look like big things, so people are afraid that they're gonna get bit by a tarantula, right? Well. Remember I told you they use their hair as a weapon? They use it against humans as well. The chance of getting bit by a tarantula are pretty slim, and even if you do, if you get bit and they envenomate you, the chances of you getting really sick or dying are virtually none, because their venom isn't that strong. It's similar to bee venom, where if you are allergic to bee venom, like, yeah, that could be a real problem for you. But if you're not, then you're probably fine. I got bit by a tarantula one time. I've worked with tarantulas for a long, long time. Uh, and, and I've held them a million times. I've only been bit one time, and it turns out I am not allergic to tarantula venom. <laughs> so that's some really good news. Uh, saying good morning over on the TikTok. Good morning. Oh, th I'm glad you like my videos. Thank you very much. I have been, uh, I know I've been neglecting the YouTube, which we are also live on right now. I've been neglecting YouTube a lot. But if you haven't followed me on TikTok, you should, because I'm posting a lot of videos over on TikTok these days. Um, anyway, so she prefers to use her hair as her weapon. The, the chance of her using her teeth to bite you are virtually none because you're not her dinner. I mean, anything with a, everyone asks, like, can they bite? Like, yeah, they can bite. Anything with a mouth can bite you. Like, I could bite you right now. I'm not gonna, but I could. Keep that in mind. <laughs> so, uh, they, they po very could possibly, but that's not their main defense mechanism, so it's very, very unlikely. Anyway, next time you see a spider, say hi and leave them alone because they're so cool and they got an important job to do. Huh? Isn't that rad? Okay, uh, I'm gonna let you go. This is gonna, just gonna be a really short video called Wild Wednesday where I show you some of the cool animals that I work with over at Scales and Tails. Go follow them on YouTube. Go follow them on TikTok, Instagram, Scales and Tails Utah uh, is the place to go. Oh, anyway, here, I'll show you how dangerous she is. Are you ready? Aww, she's so fluffy. Oh, she's tickly though. Hmm. Okay. Let's see who's over in the YouTube. Uh, Marissa. Yeah, they live a long time. These guys live a long, long time. Good morning, Erica. Uh, um. 
Are they the ones that keep frogs as pets? I don't know anything about frogs keeping spiders as pets, but you know, uh, that's a really good question actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to Google that. I haven't heard of that before. Let's see, we got a question here. Can they do their important job outside my house? I mean, they could, but they might be less effective <laughs> because you're, got, you're gonna get nastier bugs in your house than spiders, I promise. Spiders are way cooler than, than gross bugs. Uh, so I'd probably just leave them alone. I'm so glad you liked it, McKenna. Thanks for watching. Uh, hey, like I said, go follow me on TikTok. Go follow me on YouTube. If you're on the TikTok, my uh, YouTube is Nightcap with Nightcat. You can find the link in the description in my bio. Just click on my link tree. Listen, I don't know what TikTok's about. Every time you click that link, it's like, oh, it's a, it's a scary website. No, it's not. It's just my link tree. Click on that. You'll be able to scroll down, find the YouTube channel, find the podcast. Um, and yeah, follow me on everything else. At Jackson Witt or at Nightcat Show on everything else. All right, we're going to go. I'm going to put her back in her bowl, which remember, she's fine with. <laughs> And I am going to take her back to work because she's got uh, important shows and stuff that she's got to get out to. All right. 